Weston, I hear you talking about roaming the field, and I think it's a real good debate right now for U.S. men's national team fans and quite honestly for Schalke fans. If I asked you right now, what's your best position? What is it? Eight. Yeah, and why? Eight. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a box-to-box -box type player. I can't – I feel like uh, you can get the best out of me if you kind of not let me roam free but have the ability to play both sides of the ball. Because if you tell me, like, stay as a six, stay defensively, then mm -hmm. I get the urge to go forward. If you tell me stay up top and stay as a forward, I get the urge to come back and defend. Like, I, I, I have that much energy to offer. And then even though I don't like running, like, yep. it doesn't seem like <laughs> I don't like running just because of how much I do, and I do it without thinking, you know, I, I, I'll run 30 yards when, you know, I might have to run 15. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You may be playing the wrong sport if you hate running, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> uh, Weston, last week on the show, we interviewed a couple of your teammates. We had Christian Roldan, Jordan Morris, uh, Daniel Lovitzon, talking about the national team. And for those of us on the outside, Weston, it's interesting, because we always hear this conversation about the lack of identity. And I don't know if I totally agree with it because oftentimes when we look at the national team history, it's all based on what they did in the World Cup, 94, 02, 98, 2006, whatever it may be. But when you hear all, those of us on the outside talk about a lack of identity, what does that mean to you on the inside? Uh, I mean, honestly, if I, if I give you my honest opinion, I'd, I'd don't really pay attention to to much of the, the critics outside just because you know you're always going to have the people that uh say you have a lack of identity you're always going to have the people that say you guys are you know, the best group there is or has been mm -hmm. um yep. there's, there's going to be people that are gonna be like oh you know you guys don't even know how to play soccer like why are you guys playing or you know so for me it's it's what i see whenever i go into camp uh, yep. I see a, a collective group of guys that, you know, Christian Roldan, good example, out on the table. So Christian Roldan, he doesn't start many of the games. And, and, but the thing is, for me, the games that I have played and the games that I have started on the national team, he is such a team player. Like, yep. that's probably the most team player I've ever met in my life, just as far as I'll come in at halftime and he'll leave his spot, come sit down next to me and tell me things like, Wes, like if you can open up to this pocket over here, you'll be able to get the ball more because, you know, they're closing that midfield down. Like normally a player that's, you know, yeah. technically in the same position as you won't say nothing yep. to you. You're like, oh, okay, don't let him see that. You know, I'm trying to get my time. Like, yeah. So whenever I, I think of my, you know, the national team and, and everything. I think of a collective group that, that we know what we want to do. We know uh, the, the type of players we have, and everybody knows, like, what they have to offer and, and what we can do, and everyone knows our ability. So when they say it's a lack of identity, I, I don't agree with it at all either. So because we, we, I think our, our group is, is so close together and so molded together and, and understand each other so well that it's, it's something like I haven't experienced in a long time. Weston, when you talk about the national team and you think about it and with this pandemic, it's a little odd that the next national team game you play in could be a World Cup qualifier. Isn't that odd? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's odd. At the same time, um, I guess I don't really know how to feel about it just because I, I don't know – what it's like to play in a World Cup qualifier as it is. So for me, I might go in and look at it like, okay, it's another game. Yep, uh, yep. Obviously, it won't be. And obviously, when it comes time to that and I'm warming up or something or, or if I get the opportunity to go, if I'm, you know, in the locker room, I'm going to be nervous as hell. But uh, definitely, it, it'll be a bit awkward, I think so, just to realize, like, the first game back, you're playing for all the marbles, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it, that's just the way that this pandemic is going to unfold things. How, yeah. how has Greg Berhalter and his staff stayed connected with you guys during all this? Oh, we, 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 we definitely stay connected. That's one thing I will say they make sure of, and, and not in a bad way. Not, not, not like I'm an annoyed way, but, uh, you know, we, we actually we all have a group chat. Um, we all keep in contact. We hold, you know, quizzes. We have – uh riddles we have you know 
ways you can earn points uh, uh, to win prizes and stuff like that. So, I mean, we, we definitely, we find every way we can to stay connected and, and not just with the staff, um, with the players as well. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.